Okay, it's time for some Amazing Grace. And before I get started, I want to make sure uh, that we can get from the G chord to the G7 chord as easily as possible. Now, we can do G like this, like normal, but notice when you go to G7, you have to move all of your fingers. That's really hard, but if you finger G like this, three, two, pinky on string one, and then use your first finger to go to G7, that's a lot easier to just lift your pinky. All right, so use this G, not this G, this G. Let's get our 60 beats per minute going. One, two, three, one, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Okay, you'll probably notice I have to switch octaves a lot. This is, isn't <clears throat> in a great key for my vocal range. Sorry about that. And if I try to stay in your range, there would be howling and things and the neighbors will complain. So we don't want that. Let's go up to, um, I don't have a 70 on my metronome, but I do have a 69. Close. Okay, so about 70 beats per minute. One, two. And finally, 80 beats per minute. And we don't have to sing and play that fast, but it's a nice goal. And um, even though this is a slower song, this is, this is still a very much a medium, you know, not, not lightning fast or anything. Two, three, one, two. Okay, so from 60 to 69, 70 beats per minute to 80 beats per minute, um, uh, play at one speed until it feels easy. You can do it in your sleep, then you can move on to the next, and please hit me with any questions or concerns. Thank you.